Hello, Lumberjacks. I trust by now you've heard of NAU Flex, our flexible and innovative platform that allows our students and faculty to actively and seamlessly participate in classes in real time, both in person and at remote locations. I encourage you to watch this short interview to learn more about how NAU Flex works and the important role it plays in promoting your health and safety and in ensuring a high quality education experience. It's great to be sitting down with the three of you on this uh, Zoom conversation. Thank you all so much for taking some time to share your thoughts, your insights, your understandings, and your excitement for NAU Flex. Uh, Dr. Chang is president of Northern Arizona University. I wanna start with you and, and just ask you, about the fall 2020 term, I know that this has been weighing heavily on your mind and the minds of everybody on your executive team. Explain to us the fall 2020 term and, and when is it going to start and why those decisions were made. We have some of the best experts on our faculty, um, infectious disease experts, uh, epidemiologists and health equity uh, experts. And uh, in talking with them uh, and with uh, consulting across campus, uh, and in the Flagstaff community, uh, we, we, we thought that uh, the flu season that uh, often comes early in Flagstaff uh, and uh, the extra travel during the holidays uh, uh, was, was something that we could factor in as a higher risk for our students and their families. Um, so moving up um, uh, the, the schedule, at a time when the weather and uh, the outdoor season in Flagstaff is so incredibly gorgeous in August um, uh, was, was something that everybody embraced and felt uh, very comfortable with. The fall semester is going to start a little early this year. Uh, we're going to start on Wednesday, August 12th, so that we can uh, have our last day of instruction on Wednesday, uh, November 18th. That gives us several days for finals from the 20th to the 25th, and we'll be finished by Thanksgiving. I want to bring in uh, Dr. Gayla Stoner. And, and Dr. Stoner, NAU Flex is, is a, it's a, it's a blending, isn't it, of a lot of different ways for students to be able to learn in Northern Arizona University. So we did design it in a way based on our, our uh, long-term uh, experience with online as well as on ground offerings, if I may say. And um, we developed it specifically for students to be able to participate in the coursework during their LUI scheduled regular class times, right? So it's um, different from online in that way because students will participate on ground or if they're from a distance, they will participate during the same class time, which we thought was very important for our student experience. NAU Flex will be for the entire campus, all course curricula, will it not? All courses will be delivered through this approach. We do recognize that we have some courses that, such as clinical internships, for example, that will need to have some on-ground um, uh, uh, delivery in their classroom. And in those specific cases, they're, they're sort of rare, but in those cases, we're encouraging faculty to work with students to um, ensure that they also are able to participate when they need to be from a distance. Let's pretend for just a moment, I'm a, I'm a student coming to Northern Arizona University. I'm, I'm very curious about this NAU Flex. I'm very interested, obviously, in my education in college. So what am I going to see? What am I going to expect? What is my experience going to be like with NAU Flex? First of all, your experience should be absolutely the same regarding quality and outcomes of the course. Be very clear about that. Um, you will see courses conducted uh, in person and live stream, so that's, that's a little bit of a change. Um, students attend uh, the courses again, as I mentioned earlier, during their regularly scheduled class time, so no modifications there. And students will access class resources as usual through their Blackboard Learn Shell. So um, in that way, I think you're gonna see a lot of similarities. I think you're actually, as a student, going to, to see more access which um, will be very helpful for everyone regarding quality as well as health and safety. We are also really uh, fortunate to have the uh, Vice President and Chief Information Officer at Northern Arizona University with us, uh, Dr. Steve Burrell. Uh, give, us, give us a sense from the, from the technology side of things what this NAU Flex is going to be like. Um, let me just switch over to uh, another camera here. And uh, you can see that here uh, we have 
a touch panel which allows us to control various aspects of the room. So faculty are able to basically from one location and then this particular classroom you'll see in a second, I'm in the middle of the classroom, not at the head. Mm. But uh, basically this classroom is one of our NU Flux Plus classrooms and, and it's in the round actually. Mm. So as you can see, we've got televisions and capabilities throughout the room, right? So that students can gather and uh, discuss uh, different things with the uh, faculty uh, and, and students in other classrooms as well. About the only thing that we've kept, you know, from the old classroom is the clock over my shoulder. Um, but we've augmented what we have uh, in these classrooms with multiple displays in many cases, uh, audio arrays which pick up student conversations and the faculty conversations well. We've, we've added this little um, Aver Media component here. I've got it sitting on a tripod just to show you today. But that little gem of a, a webcam uh, has fantastic audio capabilities in it and very high quality. I'm holding an Elmo document camera, which you can see is very, very versatile. And I'm able to, you know, basically zoom in and demonstrate various things. This could be uh, an experiment. It could be an article. It, in this particular case, it's my smartwatch and I can manipulate it and share that with students in a highly interactive way and switch between these cameras to provide a, a really immersive kind of experience for our students uh, as they you know, sit here in the classroom or if they're sitting in another classroom that we're connected with or perhaps they're sitting in a residence hall room or their home or the library. Mm -hmm able to participate with this very innovative, affordable uh, technology um, to interact fully with their faculty member uh, in extraordinarily meaningful ways. I'm a student coming up to Northern Arizona University. What do I need? What do I need to have with me to make the most of NAU Flex? Everything from your smartphone to a tablet to your laptop. At, at a minimum, right, one of those devices. But, uh, you know, a, 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 an average laptop um, that can basically, you know, run Zoom or participate in the Blackboard LMS or Collaborate tools uh, are all capable of participating in this. One of the other things that I'm really excited about is we recognize that some of our students, you know, come to us um, without these kinds of tools or perhaps they had that, uh, you know, and something happened. Right? Accidents happen, some breaks. Uh, in partnership with our Klein Library, we're providing extended loans of computer equipment to students who may be in need. And particularly uh, to students who are fiscally challenged, our colleagues in Student Affairs and uh, Native American Cultural Center will be helping those students connect with the equipment they need to be successful. NAU Flex may be a bit of an invention, but I'm hearing an awful lot from Dr. Stoner and Dr. Burrell that we've been doing a lot of this for quite some time. But from your seat in your office right now, to see how we are taking what we've already been doing and adjusting it for the new reality of the pandemic world has got to be very exciting for you and gratifying as well. It is. As uh, Gail has said, um, online learning has been a, a foundational piece of NAU for the last uh, 20 years. Uh, we, were, we were definitely pioneers and um, our access and affordability mission for undergraduates um, to access us throughout the state of Arizona is key. And um, improving the infrastructure on campus in the classrooms and in the residence halls um, was part of the access mission. And as Steve said, we can access uh, um, on, our, on our, uh, our, our phones, on our iPads, on our laptops. Um, but you saw, we expect that students will be physically distanced appropriately in the classrooms. Um, and in person with, with uh, the faculty, uh, but also able to access from another room or from their residence hall or from their homes, depending on their family situation and their own personal health. Uh, we're following all the CDC guidelines and, and, and matching that with our culture, which is a, a lumberjack uh, can-do culture. There have been a lot of questions about faculty engagement 
and, and how the, the NAU faculty, the great faculty that we have at Northern Arizona University will be able to engage with their students. And again, couching that into the new environment that we have with NAU Flex, how will that look? Our faculty um, will engage with students in what we call active learning opportunities. Um, and they will happen on ground in the, in the traditional classroom as well as remotely. So just to give you an idea of how this will work, um, group work, as you know, is a common assignment uh, within classrooms. And so group work within the traditional classroom experience will happen again in the same way that it would in that students would discuss core ideas and engage in exercises and then present materials and ideas to the class. In the same way, students participating remotely will be grouped so that they can have online discussions, come up with engagements, questions, and prepare a short summary to share with the class. One of the things that uh, I think is particularly challenging uh, in that context is uh, laboratory environments, right? Mm -hmm. um, chemistry labs, biology labs, so on and so forth. So um, we will have this technology available in those labs, and there will be ways that uh, the university will structure participation in those labs uh, to ensure social distancing and stuff. Um, but the technology uh, really allows us to accelerate the learning by uh, recording uh, labs and lectures so that students can revisit them later for reinforced learning. Uh, anything that uh, we can plug into a computer through a USB connection, uh, including things like microscopes and uh, telescopes, um, just anything that you can imagine now becomes, you know, shareable scientific instrumentation. Uh, and then thirdly, um, I know we're working uh, with Gala staff on the inclusion of scientific simulations and other simulation technology that allows us to um, immerse students in experiences, um, laboratory experiences that maybe, you know, weren't even possible in the traditional sense. What I'm sensing from this conversation is that the way we deliver higher education as an institution is changing. And perhaps post COVID-19 pandemic, this is a different paradigm of education delivery for higher education moving into the deep future. Am I in that ballpark with you on this or what do you think? I think the key word here is flex. Uh, the flexibility that uh, we are now engaging in by, uh, 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 because of, of COVID-19. Um, the, the need for us to, to be able to manage a highly fluid uh, situation with flexibility and with determination will uh, create, I think, experiences for students that they will want to uh, embrace and they will see that it, with their complex lives, this allows them a much deeper learning opportunity and flexible learning opportunity than they had before. Thank you all three for joining me today. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you.